So in today's tutorial, we're gonna make the camera smoothly follow the vehicle. So off camera, I added some post processing to make it look a little bit better. So if I give it a plane, it looks a little bit more realistic. And we fell off. Okay. Let's get our camera a, a script. Let's uh, create a script. Uh, let's call it camera. And let's write some code. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is get a reference to the player. Now we could just get the player and drop it like we have it in here. There's an easier way by using tags. So we're gonna tag the cart uh, as player. And in here we're gonna say a game object. We're gonna make it a public game object player. And in the start, whatever whenever we start our game, or actually let's use awake. So whenever we start our game we are gonna search for a uh, game object tagged with player so the way you do that is by saying player is equal to game object dot find with tag with a capital G find objects with tag N this is for arrays but we want just one object so find object with tag brackets and inside the brackets write player with a capital P okay this should find the player let's give it a try let's attach it to the main camera okay we have right here let's hit play and it attaches to the cord. Next thing is to make it smoothly uh, follow the player. Let's make a new void, let's call it follow, with empty parameters. Let's come here a, and uh, make it private, void and follow, empty parameters. So the way we're gonna do that is by saying by uh, basically uh, updating this position with the position of the camera of the of the game object that this script is attached so the way you do that is by saying game object dot transform dot position is equal vector 3 dot lerp so we're gonna lerp the position from the game object to the target game object. So this lerp uh, asks for a, a target position and the base position. So th our base position is this game object. So this writing this is the same as just writing transform dot position and the target or the vector B is the player transform player dot transform dot position the third argument is the time for this argument we're gonna say time dot delta time times a float we set and let's name the float uh, speed okay we don't have a speed let's create one very quickly speed okay let's try this code set speed to 1 okay it follows but it, it doesn't look at the object okay perfect next thing we're gonna do is a target or a transform game object dot transform dot look at player dot game object
Okay. Let's try that. Okay, now it looks at the player. Let's bump this to 20. And it follows. Okay, perfect. Next thing, as you saw, is uh, it it follows the center of the it follows the center of the vehicle. So the way we can offset it is by is by uh, is by creating another object into the cart. So let's do that. Let's create a empty object. Let's call it camera constraint. Okay, so now the way we attach to the child of the object we have already attached to is by saying first by declaring a new game object public game object child and the child is equal to player dot transform dot find the name of the object dot game object okay so now if we play you're gonna see the child is actually camera constraint okay so instead of following player in here we're gonna follow child okay so one problem if we drive the car it actually works good but if we stand still the camera goes all funny a very simple and easy fix to that is by changing the look at position so change that back to player hit play now it looks at the car camera fixed 